From Hollywood, it's time now for... Johnny Dollar. This is Dr. Kane, police emergency hospital. You left word for me to call you, Mr. Dollar? Yes, sir. I'm with Sergeant Mapes. Has there been any change in Miss Tierney's condition? No, sir. No, none. Do you think she'll make it, Doctor? It's hard to say right now. Sometimes they rally. Sometimes not at all. Doctor, it's very important that we see her. I don't know whether to do any good, Mr. Dollar. We want to question her. Yes, I know, I know. Well, why don't you and Sergeant Mapes come on over to the hospital? All right, sir, we'll be right there. Tonight and every weekday night, Bob Bailey in the transcribed adventures of the man with the action-packed expense account, America's fabulous freelance insurance investigator... Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Expense account submitted by Special Investigator Johnny Dollar to Four State Insurance Company, Wilmington, Delaware. The following is an accounting of expenditures incurred during my investigation of the Todd matter, the burglary that resulted in a shooting. On a tip from an ex-convict named Orrin Vance, I came to New York to question one Gloria Tierney. My information was that she had in her possession an expensive mink coat, part of a $75,000 burglary at the Todd home on Long Island. Gloria Tierney was shot and seriously wounded by an unknown gunman before I was able to question her about the coat. A description of her assailant and how she had obtained the coat were still to be ascertained when Sergeant Dan Mapes and I arrived on the second floor of emergency hospital. Mr. Dollar? Yes. Oh, I'm Dr. King. Oh, yes, this is Sergeant Mapes. How do you do? Has she managed to talk yet, Doctor? No, and she may not. I see. Now, before we go in... I hope both of you will carefully frame only your most pertinent questions. Two minutes is about all I can give you with her. Sure, Doctor. Uh, well, better put your cigarettes out in that. Oh, oh, yeah. Ego facultate nihi ab apostolia, sede tributa indulgentiam plenarium et remissionem omnium peccatorem tibi concedo. Father Deering wanted in his word. Patris, yeah. Et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. All right, Father? Yes. Hmm. Is she conscious? Oh, just a minute. Yes? She can hear you, I'm sure. You want to go ahead? Uh, I suppose so. Has to be official. Are you Gloria Tierney? Is Gloria Tierney your name? Do you understand that you're seriously hurt? Do you understand that? Yes. Can you tell us how you came about these injuries, Miss Tierney? Miss Tierney? Bill. Bill. Bill shot you? Yes. Well, what is Bill's full name? Where can we find him? Bill. Where can we find him? Who is he? <coughs> Doctor? Watch out. Nurse, hand me the hypo. Quick! No? This might help. Sorry, fellows. Nothing more I could do. Gloria Tierney died at 3.35 in the afternoon without revealing the full name of the man who had shot her the night before. Expense account item seven, six bucks, drinks. Myself and Sergeant Mapes. Well, we're sure of two things. Are we? Yeah. His name's Bill. And this is the worst whiskey I ever tasted. Uh, there ought to be a law. I think there is, Sergeant. I'm going to ask you something, baby. Outside of the fact that that girl up there died a few minutes ago and was wearing a stolen mink worth $11,000 that 
you've been wanting to get your hands on. What about her? How does it strike you? She looked like a nice girl. Yeah. She looked like the best kind of girl ever made. What else? What would someone like that be doing in a stolen mink coat? Exactly. What would she be doing with a stolen mink coat? Outside of having herself a time with a guy named Bill who gave it to her. You call that having herself a time? <laughs> I'd like to get drunk. Every bum in town's named Bill. <sighs> this is bad. Terrible. Worst stuff I ever drank. You can say that again, baby. Worst stuff I ever drank. Waiter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring us two more of the same. Only make them double. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Hmm. I'm glad to see you aren't fussy, Dolly. Not a bit. Not a lousy bit. You know, I looked at you when you came in my office and I said to myself, I got a wiseacre on my hands. Mm -hmm. I got a wheeling, dealing wiseacre who's got himself a little tip and he's going to keep it all to himself. I said, why do I have to put up with this kind of trouble? Why don't I just toss this bum in the cooler and go about my business? I'm a copper. I got work to do. Why fool with an insurance stick, I said. <laughs> but I'm very happy to see you aren't a fussy fella, baby. Very happy. All right. You made a speech. Now I'll make one. Go ahead. Well, I stood in a hospital room and I watched a human being die. Oh, it's part of my job, part of your job, too. But for myself, I don't like it. If I have to go into why every man's death diminishes me, I'm going to fall all over myself because I never could go into that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know what you mean. But I'll say this. That girl that died in there was... Well, she was the kind of girl I could have kept right on seeing. Yes, I'd like very much to have knocked on her door almost any old night. Sergeant, I would have liked that more than I could tell you. She wore a stolen mink coat. Remember? I remember. I remember. But I can sit here and feel bad about it, can I? You sure can. I'll feel bad with you. Eh, look at them early eaters, Dollar. Coming in to drink their dinners. Don't change the subject. I have to. We got work to do, pal. Yeah. Here we are, gentlemen. Uh, as long as it's here. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers yourself. <coughs> oh... Uh, there ought to be a law. You said that. I remained with Sergeant Mapes the rest of the day as he continued his investigation of the death of Gloria Tierney and the Todd burglary. The apartment where she'd lived finally yielded some information. Here. Here it is. Letters from a Robert J. Tierney in Riverside, California. Looks like her father, maybe. Yeah. I'll have the business office down at headquarters notify him. Hey, what's this? Huh? Picture. Mm hmm. Nice looking guy. Yeah. Love Bill. <laughs> he loved her, all right. Anybody identified this yet? That uh, Mrs. Stromberg's supposed to be here right now. What time you got? I passed. She said she'd be here at six. Hey, Sergeant, did you get anything on the bullets? Well, they didn't check with anything in our lab. Ballistic says it was an Army Colt, old model. Pretty good for killing. And what gun isn't? Yeah, you're right. Hello? Oh, hello, Mrs. Stromberg. We've been waiting for you. Come in. Hello? Hello, Mr. Dollar. Hi. Do I have to answer any more questions? Oh, a couple, if you don't mind. I'm just all worn out. I can't get over this terrible thing happening to Gloria. Did you ever find out about her family? We're going to contact them right now. Seems they live in Riverside, California. Yes, Yes, I believe that's what she said. I want to ask you one question, Mrs. Stromberg. Take a look at this picture. Yes. Do you know him? Oh, yes, that's Bill. The man Gloria Tierney's been going out with these last few months? Yes. The man who drives the black Cadillac? Yes, the Cadillac. Oh, I wish I could tell you his full name. Did he do this terrible thing? It looks like it, Mrs. Stromberg. Oh, dear. Have you arrested him yet? We haven't found him yet. Well, I hope you do. I hope you clear this up. I left word for the office to get me here. What about her things? Hello. 
Her family will probably take charge as soon as they're contacted. Oh, that poor girl. That poor girl. So alone now. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Stromberg, did Gloria Tierney ever mention to you that she'd been married? Married? Gloria? Yeah. Why, no, she never mentioned it. Was she? Married in the state of New York in 1951. Divorced in 1953. Routine check of vital statistics. What was her husband's name? Bill. Bill Powers. Sergeant Mapes requested immediate file checks on William B. Powers, the ex-husband of Gloria Tierney. From it, he learned he had no criminal record in the state of New York. His home address was up in Westchester County, one of the suburbs of the big city. I drove out there with Sergeant Mapes. Oh, what's this all about? Do you know a woman named Gloria Tierney, Mr. Powers? Well, sure. We were married once. Why? She was shot to death last night, Mr. Powers. A Gloria? Yeah. Are you sure? We're sure. Shot? Oh, well, what, 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 what happened? How could a thing like that happen? That's what we're trying to find out, Mr. Powers. I can't believe it. Gloria did. Have you seen her lately? What? Have you? What? Uh, yes. I saw her last week. We had a drink together. Are you sure it's Gloria? We'd make sure before we came here with news like that. That's right. Mr. Dollar here isn't a policeman. He's an insurance investigator. Miss Tierney was wearing a stolen mink coat when it happened. Stolen? Are you sure? We're sure. We checked everything, well, Mr. Gloria Powers. would never steal anything. She was a fine girl. A wonderful girl. Fool to ever let our marriage go on the rocks. Can you come with us, Mr. Powers? We'd like an identification. What? Oh, uh, yes, of course. I'll, I'll, I'll get my coat. Excuse me. Want to smoke, Johnny? Yeah, thanks. Well, he isn't the bird in the picture, Johnny. No, not at all. Still, he... What is it, Johnny? You check the driveway out there? No. Take a look, the side window. Uh-oh. Yeah. 55 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Sure is, Sergeant. There'll be another intriguing episode in our story of the Todd matter tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, you find one killer and you find them all. And then? Then you have to start all over again. Join us, won't you? Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar, starring Bob Bailey, is transcribed in Hollywood. Written by John Dawson, it is produced and directed by Jack Johnstone. Be sure and join us tomorrow night, same time and station, for the next exciting episode of Yours Truly, Johnny Dollar, Roy Rowan speaking. <laughs>